El líder de la mítica banda Pink Floyd, Roger Waters, aceptó la semana pasada una entrevista de Michael Smerkomish en la cadena CNN. El periodista le preguntó a Waters por su opinión respecto a la guerra de Ucrania. Probablemente buscaba la viralidad criticando al músico en su cara, pero consiguió todo lo contrario. Lo que se movió a niveles mundiales fue la contundente e indignada respuesta del músico, quien señala al entrevistador en varias ocasiones que tiene que leer más para poder conocer realmente un conflicto tan complejo como este. Imprescindible. This war is basically about the action and reaction of NATO pushing right up to the Russian border, which they promised they wouldn't do when Gorbachev negotiated the withdrawal of the USSR from the whole of Eastern Europe. When you say this, then I have to say, what about our role as liberators? You of all people... With you have no role as liberators. World War II? Talking? World War II? You, you, you got into you World War II because... Come It's on. Pearl Harbor. You, Pearl Harbor. You were completely isolationist until that's sad. That devastating. I, I would argue awful we were day always in, going to in get in, and that pushed us in. But thank God the United States got in, right? Well, you lost your well, father in World War II. Thank God well, yeah, the United thank States. You, but right? thank God the Russians had already won the bloody war almost by then. Don't forget, 23 million Russians died. Protecting you and me you from would, the Nazi you, menace. Hey, and you would think the Russians would have learned their lesson from war and wouldn't have invaded Ukraine. Well, you, you, Fair? with all your reading, I would suggest you, Michael, <laughs> that you go away and read a bit more and then try and figure out what the United States would do if the Chinese were putting um, nuclear armed missiles into Mexico and Canada. The Chinese are too busy encircling Taiwan as we speak. Okay? They're not encircling Taiwan. Taiwan is part of China. And oh. that's been absolutely accepted by the whole of the international community since 1948. And if you don't know that, you're not reading enough. Go and read about it. Okay, did we solve anything here This today? Is, no, well, yeah, we did. Well, I mean, no, we didn't. Because I mean, Nancy, you're, believe, Nancy, you're believing your propaganda, your side's propaganda. You're defining But it as Taiwan, propaganda. Taiwan, you cannot, you can't have a conversation about human rights and you can't have a conversation about Taiwan without actually Roger, doing the reading. Roger, if you're having a conversation about human rights, at the top of the list of offenders are the Chinese. Why is it always the uh, Western is world? The top of why, your lip? why is it the always Chinese the Western didn't world? invade Iraq and kill a million people in 2003? In fact, as far as I can recall, hang on a minute. Who have the Chinese invaded and murdered, slaughtered? In their the own, minute? their own bollocks. Okay, that's absolute nonsense, <laughs> complete nonsense. You should go away and read. <laughs>